turn on the computer, access the BIOS, F2. As you can see, this is a regular BIOS door. Nothing is inside, it's just a regular Acer BIOS. Then, hit the power button, turn it off. Boom. Push down the FN and the tap button, hit the power. One, two, three, hit the F2 button and access the BIOS. Then you can see here on the main, advanced, security, no, no password, no anything is inside. Just do it. Doesn't matter what the, if you change anything in BIOS, it works on every time. Don't change the EFU with the legacy or anything. Just do it like as this video. All people who sell things, they are totally fucked up, you know? So this is the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm there too. So let's just see. there. As you can see, is anything, everything. And this is the options in the advanced BS. Here, the boot. On chip devices. ED configuration, ID configurations. The video configuration. The USB configuration. The chipset configuration, the knob bridge, the C pass, latency timer, ACP, legacy values, and everything. This setting is inside, which I have said inside my BIOS, is the best setting. They give you full power on the CPU and it will not get hot. The AMD PSB option and the power options. You can see here there's advanced CPU, coolant support, multi core support. Okay. ACP ES3, thermal fan control, and some other things, you know. Oh, and it's all works fine. As you can see, I don't have to do anything. You just, if you want to, just hit the FT button, save it, and here you go. It's working. Made by MST, the one. Copenhagen, Denmark. It works on almost any Acer computer I have tested.